I'm a really useful engine, said Thomas as he puffed into the sheds that morning. Oh yes, puffed Gordon, but I bet you're not as fast as me. The others overheard and laughed. Please stop arguing, the fat controller butted in. Everyone went quiet. I know, continued the fat controller. We'll soon find out who's the fastest of you all. I will hold a racing competition and keep the times with my pocket watch. Then we'll know who's the best. Everybody cheered loudly and began revving their engines in readiness for the races. You need to have your engine looked at. Okay, not a good story, but a story nonetheless. Uh, this is Thomas the Tank Engine 2, a race game where you get to choose from seven engines and one boss. I'll be going for Gordon because we all know he's the fastest steam engine. Uh, four courses to choose from. Uh, you've got a keyboard option. You can choose your difficulty. I'm a noob, so yeah, very easy. And the music you can choose from two different kinds. I never even fully knew what Adlib was, but it sounds pretty catchy. All right, Bill, you cheeky bastard. It's all. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, this game was released for the DOS in 1993, I believe, as a follow-up to Alternative Software's first Thomas the Tank Engine game, where you go around delivering cargo, whilst other engines get in the way. This isn't too different, as you can see. Thomas is obstructing us for some absurd reason. Woo, look at him go! And I believe there was also a Amiga version released of this game too. And yeah, in this game there's lots of obstacles in the way. Engines, of course. Vans, which I'll show you later. And signals. And crossing gates too. And there's also a bonus section. Wow. What kind of call is Gordon taking on to go that fast? <laughs> Meanwhile, Bill's just plodding along like the sluggish little saddle tank that he is. Go, Bill! Woo, you can do it! Ah, <laughs> damn you, Toby! I lost to a tank engine. Oh, the indignity! Alright, let's try someone else. I choose Birdie. We're gonna change to Postal Run. And let's race. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Not! Ready, 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 go! As you can see, the main difference with Birdie is that all the tracks have been replaced with roads. The stations are now bus stops and the uh, garages have replaced water towers. Oh, instead of signals, you've got traffic lights. And instead of engines, you've got these green vans, or lorries as they call them in Britain, all over the place. Yeah. Now, I've uh, played several other old games based off this franchise. For example, there's the Super Nintendo version, which is really basic and has a lot of Americanization to it. You know, switches, Sir Topham hat, etc. I'd call it redundant. And then there's the Sega Mega Drive version. I have never played it myself, maybe because I've never been a Sega person. It certainly has some variety to it. Don't even get me started on the newer ones. Damn it! Bad luck, Bertie! Uh, let's try that again. 
Get ready to have your buffers handed to you, Benny boy. <clears throat> so in conclusion, it's a fun little arcade game, and if you find the time to find it and play it, check it out. Even though you might lose interest after about 10 minutes or so. So until we next meet, this is QJ, signing out.